Subaru Telescope, National Astronomical Observatory of Japan. A large reflector telescope can detect not only visible light, but also infrared light that cannot be seen with the naked eye. At ALMA in Chile, South America, the 66 antennas follow weak radio waves from the universe. Why do astronomers observe electromagnetic waves other than visible light? An electromagnetic wave message from the distant universe. What kind of mysteries does each wavelength hold? Starlight fills the sky. Astronomers have been exploring what kind of universe extends beyond the Earth by capturing faint light with telescopes. Mini-mi-e-ru-u-chu,つまり可視光による観測は星、それからその集まりである銀河の観測にとても大事な役割を果たしてきました。星がどのように分布しているか、あるいは銀河がどんな形をしているかを調べるには。However, visible light does not show us the entire universe. Visible light is electromagnetic radiation people can see with their eyes, but it is only part of the electromagnetic spectrum. X-rays, ultraviolet rays, infrared radiation and radio waves are electromagnetic waves with other wavelengths. The universe is filled with various lengths of electromagnetic radiation, not only visible light. The for example, when we look at the Milky Way with visible light, there are several black regions with fewer stars. These are places where foreground gas and dust block the light from the stars behind them. This is a nebula called S106 that is known to have vigorous star formation. This observation used near infrared, which is the shortest wavelength in the infrared region. Although it interferes with observing the stars, dust is also an important research topic in astronomy. Dust is ejected by dying stars and it becomes the materials for creating new stars. Dust can be observed directly using wavelengths longer than near infrared. Why is that? Every object emits electromagnetic waves strongly at a specific wavelength, which is determined by its temperature. For example, stars like the Sun, which generate their own heat, radiate the strongest in electromagnetic waves near visible light. Likewise, the dust floating between stars also radiates strongly at electromagnetic wavelengths appropriate for its temperature. The 
私たちが住む世界に比べるとずっと低温ですしかしこれぐらいの温度の物体は中間赤外線の波長で電磁波を出します星が可視光で光っているのと同じように温められた塵は中間赤外線で明るく輝いているのです This is a galaxy called M82 photographed in visible light. The Subaru telescope observed the center of this galaxy in mid infrared. This shows only the light radiated by dust, not starlight. この観測では、これまでにない解像度で M82 の中心部の暖かい塵の分布が分かってきました。白く輝いているところほどそのような塵がたくさんあることを示しています中間赤外線で詳しく調べればさらに塵の成分も分かってきます Infrared observation reveals one truth of the universe after another After visible light and infrared at even longer wavelengths is the radio wave region Radio waves can observe the cold universe. 宇宙にはマイナス260度という非常に冷たい塵やガスが存在しますがこのような物質からは赤外線すら出てきませんしかし電波なら出てきます非常に冷たい塵やガスは星の誕生と非常に密接に関わっていますこのため電波望遠鏡による観測がとても盛んに行われています This is a galaxy called M33, photographed in visible light. What does the galaxy look like when observed with a radio telescope? This is that image. The blue color shows gas, and the green color is dust. In the blue color, the blue color is dust. 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 この画像のように青や緑で光っているところはガスや塵が非常に濃くなっているところですこのような中で星が活発に生まれていますので星がどのように作られるかということを知ることができるのです ALMA, which started full observation in 2013 was the first radio telescope to successfully image a site where a star is being born 太陽を含むさまざまな星はガスと塵からなる回転円盤から誕生しますそれと同時に惑星も誕生していきますアルマが捉えたこの画像は今まさに星惑星系が成長していく様子を映し出していますアルマ望遠鏡ではこれまでの電波望遠鏡に比べて圧倒的に高い感度と解像度により星や惑星の誕生の現場をあたかも写真を撮るかのように見ることができます Radio wave observations reveal more than just the distribution of gas and dust. Based on their species, the molecules and atoms in space emit specific electromagnetic waves called spectral lines. By observing these, we can research the chemical composition and regions of star birth. An electromagnetic wave message from the distant universe. Astronomers decipher the information in each wavelength to chase the mysteries of the universe. およそ400年前に望遠鏡が発明されてから人類は可視光による宇宙の観測を続けてきました今では可視光よりも波長の短い X 線やガンマ線、紫外線それから可視光よりも波長の長い電波や赤外線といった電磁波のすべての波長で宇宙を詳しく観測しています様々な波長の電磁波を観測することによって宇宙の全体像を把握したいこれが現代の天文学者の願いです